What's going on, y'all? We live in Atlanta at the Credit Summit. I'm Brandon the Provider. I'm Tevin Facey, the Fun and Poppy. I know what's up. And this is the Main Essentials Podcast. Yes, sir. We got a very, very special guest here. Who we got here? You know who we got. The three. Th- three. The three? The three. The three. Formerly known as? <laughs> she the three. What's up, y'all? How y'all you got she the three here, the credit connoisseur. Yes, the sir. The travel expert. Yes, sir. What, what else you specialize in? Everything. Everything credit, man. Credit really is the, the funder. It's the foundation of everything, man. Yeah. So I, I, I specialize in the foundation. The foundation. When you the say foundation, foundation break, break that down. What you mean by that? So, I mean, like, when you're, when you're growing up, when you're leveling up, that's your nice friend, right? <laughs> oh my god. When you're god. leveling They're up, like right? <laughs> when you're moving, when you're moving, you gotta have a good foundation. You're either gonna build your house on a rock or a sand, right? right. Now, if you build it without a properly structured credit profile, you're building on sand. If you build it with that properly structured credit profile, you're building it on rocks, which now anything that happens, you could withstand that storm. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times, everybody, man, we just like, all right, you know, cash, cash, cash. And it's like, now when the banks come acting, how's your credit? Credit what? So that's why I looked into credit, and once I, do- I dove deep into the credit space, traveling became natural because now it's like, you mean if I do this, they'll give me this? And if I do that, I could do that? Right. It was on for that. Yeah, of course, of course. And I mean, especially now, like, I-, I was just talking with somebody, and we were just talking about just that credit. And we were just speaking about this, too. Like, people are just afraid of credit, just in general. Like, even when they get past the point of, even learning about what credit is or under this man, understanding how they can get credit, whether it be through business credit or personal credit, they still are afraid of it because they feel like it's something that can hold them back just by doing one wrong move. So you got to understand, right? I'm a math teacher, right? That's You forgot middle school math teacher. Yeah. So next time, I, okay. make sure you put that. Oh, oh okay. I, I, I missed some titles out there. My bad. <laughs> yeah. I missed a couple of titles. So middle school math no, teacher, you, right? No, you're just going to go ahead and keep going with the title. So middle school math teacher. <laughs> credit right? connoisseur. Credit connoisseur. Travel, travel, travel hack. What, what, else, what else do you do? I mean, I do motivation, so I do it all, Basketball right? player, former. Got former. no ACL no more. Um, <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to LSU. Shout out to, shout out to the herd. Right? For, for, former women's. Shout out to the herd. Basketball Go. Heard. We yes. are Marshall, but yes. shout out to LSU for the championship. Of course, Women's of course. tournament was phenomenal. You, like little Andrew you know what's Reese crazy? Here. Shut up. You know what's crazy? And I'm gonna give <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all a travel hack for all the college athletes that's playing right now. Right? This is actually how I got started. Shout out to LSU. Shout out to everybody at a mid major school. Shout out to everybody that's playing collegiate sports right now. Right. The way how I really got started in travel hacking and credit was because in my sophomore year. No, it was my freshman year. My assistant head coach came to me and said, Rashida, that's my birth name. Rashida, I, I feel like you'll be the... Shut up, man. That's my birth name, right? She said, Rashida, I feel like you'll be the only person to continue with this. And she said, every time we travel, we travel commercial. Right. We weren't at a... We weren't at a I'm not at Alabama. We fly in for, uh, charter planes all the time. Mm-hmm. So we would travel. We're going to the airport just like everybody else. And when they buy your ticket, it don't matter who buys your ticket. Your name's on the manifest. So that flight and those miles are entitled to you, not the person who paid for it. Mm. So she said, every time we travel, I want you to make sure you attach your frequent flyer number to your flight. I go back now. I'm like, okay, it's January, February. We done flew uh, November, December, and January. Right. So we had on our, our away game. I went and found all. This is this is literally how I got started. This right. is 2008. Don't, okay. don't age me, right? <laughs> so I literally went back. I pulled up all of our games. I looked at all of our away games that we flew for. And I called American Airlines. And I made them find my numbers. Like, I made them find the flights. Yeah, all the flights. Once they found the flights, they found me on all them flights. And they added all those miles to my frequent flyer account. So now wow. the school gave me a scholarship. This was an NIL before NIL. Right. Mm. The school, the, okay. the school, NIL money before <laughs> NIL money. The school gave me the scholarship. Yeah. But then she gave me that one tip. Yo, for the rest of my college career, I always, I either called them, I would stack up my, my tickets and I would call them with the ticket number. They said, add it. I graduated, I graduated with over 100,000 miles in my AA account. Wow. That's crazy. With the highest status with AA because we flew... 15 to 20 times a year. Wow. And it was on day dime. At what age? This was, I was 18. 18? 2008. So Don't I, age I me, yo. See, I so listen. Don't I age me, yo. Listen. Don't age me, yo. I was excited when I have another concrete brethren on, on, the, on the jack. 
uh, somebody from New York, my Jamaicans, bye, and bye. how we do Brooklyn, you know Queens. Doing, yeah. um, so when we talk, today I had a little issue, right? I came from New York to Atlanta, super flight got canceled. They don't love you. On a connecting flight, and this whole time I'm thinking, what was she to do? What was she to do? <laughs> what was she to three do? So I want you, you to break get down. You got to get a bracelet for what that. Was she to three do? What, yes, what was she to three Traveling do? Traveling issues, what was she to three do? <laughs> yeah. I want you to break down. When we call you travel expert, what does that entail? How did you get that title? How did you get that claim to fame? What does that mean? I'm going to tell you, right? So travel expert. I really got the title because my first set of flights, I went, it was one summer. I was a busy, you know how when I start moving, you can't, like, all you see is the yeah. blur. Yeah. And when I started moving around, I looked back and I'm like, yo, I really only spent like forty dollars for like seven flights. This guy, forty forty cash, USD? forty forty dollars yeah. for seven flights. She's, for you seven know what flights. she said? Forty dollars. It was like forty dollars. It was like forty dollars. If I she rounded spent, up around the down, it was like she $40. spent what a steak dinner was. I for seven I'm steak. You eating forty dollars? I don't I'll, eat steak. I'll I'm I'll vegan. Steak. My fault. Rubble. My fault. I'm sorry. But yeah, actually, you're right. I don't, I don't even know what steak costs anymore. Right? <laughs> Mushrooms. That's what the lion's mane be costing. Exactly. So I look back and I'm like, damn, that's crazy. And I said it to somebody, and they were like, no, you didn't. I said, oh, you don't know how to do it. So I started teaching people how to do it. Right. And then mm. once I started teaching people how to do it, I had I had met this dude, and he was like, yo, I need to go here, here, here. And, you know, I don't know, it's the money. And I said, are you making money stop you from getting this opportunity? Or, mm. like, what is it? And I said, what credit cards you have, man? And he told me. He had, like, 80,000 points in his bank. I said, wow. bro, you're not going to let money stop you from going from the opportunity. He said, all right, what was it? I went through it with him. I said, you're going to do this, 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 that, and Hold on, hold on. What do you mean by points? So he had credit cards. And yeah. he spent money on his credit cards. Okay. So okay. because of the type of credit cards he had, he accrued a certain amount of points that he could now do use it for something else. Okay. Because when I say credit connoisseur, it's like, all right, I don't like one way financial relationships. Of course. Right. If if it's it's gonna be always a two way street with me. Right. All right. Of if you think we rocking on a one way street, if that one way street is not really flowing my way, I'm not rolling with it. Right. And that's just anybody, right? If yeah. it's give and take. The river flowing. Exactly. It gotta sense. go. It gotta go this way. Exactly. So with 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 the credit card, certain credit. Cards, Cards are one-way financial relationships. Yeah. Debit cards are definitely one-way financial and, relationships. And that's what we don't want. And we don't want that because we, we want, want a two-way financial street. Even if it's even if debit cards are just definitely not it, right? So when I was asking him, he told me like, and I got those store cards too, right? Store cards. Are so oh, much store there? cards are dead ends. Oh, okay, my fault. They're dead ends. They're not even like <laughs> those of you out there with them Target cards, Coles, the Macy's, Coles, JC the Penny, the Old Navy, Finger Hut. I know y'all yeah. still got Finger Hut cards. First of all, they got. I know the you synchrony. still got Finger Hut cards. They got the cards. synchrony, the, the the PayPal card right now. Yeah, that's like a store card. We're not sense. judging you. We just we just want you to do better. That's it. Yes, right? we want you to do better. better. So Chachi. when I asked Chachi. him, he came back. He's like, I got changed. I got this. I got that. So how much you got in your bank? He went through. He had like eighty thousand points on one card. Wow. So all in all, he had more. I went through, I walked him through how to do it. He ended up spending $12 for his hotel and his flight. Wow. The only money he spent was on the Ubers. Wow. So, hold up. So, hold imagine up. that. Up. Money was going to get, he was going to let, not <laughs> knowing how to leverage $12, get in his way of, and that's why I'm so, so persistent on getting your credit right and then learning how to leverage it to travel because we in Atlanta. I mean, you know I didn't pay to be here. Of course. You ain't paid nothing. Not for the hotel. Not for the, the car. But I, I already told you, flight. right? So you had, a, you had a bad experience. And the reason why I'm heavy on traveling is because I have good experiences. And when I have a bad one, when I have good ones, I let them know about it. When I have bad ones, I let them know about it. When I have bad ones, I really let them know about it. Right. And this is my key word. In Inconvenience. Convenience. Ooh. Mm. That mm. right there. Just that one That's word. That's a gem right there. Yeah, just that That's one word gem. alone. I know how to use that word. You That's get, a gem right there. They're going to bless you up. <laughs> they thought. Certain brands, they really care about their brand. Yeah, of course. Like Delta, they really care about their brand. They yeah. don't want you talking bad about their brand. That's a that's a service error. That's a service failure. So if you failing, they want to fail? No, they got customer service awards for years. They never want to fail. So if you inconvenience me, that's a failure. And I'm going to let you know. When you do good, I'll let you know too. Because don't be like, yo, don't be that person that only complain when it's bad. When it's bad. If it's good, show the good stuff. So I right. do, I, anytime I have surveys, I'll do the surveys, the good ones. So so Delta, Delta is an inconvenience. So now when I go through and I hit them with the inconvenience, they hit you with the complaint form, I'm giving y'all a gem right now. 
Oh, you are. Don't you tell are. my people I Gem told y'all this. Gem alert, y'all. Gem alert. Gem alert. Gem alert. Y'all, y'all gotta be writing this down. Come on, y'all better be. Yo, when you hit them with that, man, they gonna hit you with like a five, twenty five hundred, five thousand dollar. Sorry, miles. Ooh. Miles. I'm about to say, hold up. Five, five I'm gonna thousand. Call, I flew Delta coming. <laughs> five thousand <laughs> miles. Second credit. was rolling that flight. Five thousand mile credit. Now, typically, you would have to spend five k to get the five thousand miles, or mm. you would have to be in a. You would have to have the credit card to get the 5,000 miles. You don't need no credit card for this. So even if you pay with your debit cards, you could've got it. Not advocating for that. Not. But even if you pay no. with your debit card, you could still get the inconvenience 5,000 mile bonus to your account. That now, when you need to fly something later to do anything, say it's a family emergency, say it's a game, something that you want to go to and you think you don't have the cash for it. Right. No, you don't have the cash, you just don't have the knowledge. Information. Now, knowledge is key. Information yes. is key. Yes, information now, changes situations for sure. Facts. If what, I'm looking in my pocket, right? I'm looking in my pocket. Let's, let's take out your just, wallet. Yeah, just take it out. Just I got I got some cards in my pocket. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so how do I get started in gaining some points traveling for free or for cheap? How do I get started? I got some credit cards, or I need to get some credit cards. What do, what do I do? First of all, I, what I don't want y'all to do, and I'm going to tell you what not to do, I don't want y'all to sit down and go, oh, you know what? I'm going to shoot my shot at every credit card on the market. Don't do that. Okay. You don't need to do that. Gotcha, gotcha. The only thing you really need to do is make sure your profile structure properly. Because you right. could travel. You could, le- you could literally travel. Foundation. Exactly. Back to mm-hmm. that the foundation, foundation, right? Yeah. You could travel hat without the credit. The building blocks. Mm. Mm, hold up. 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 Say that one more time. Say it. Say it. Say it for the people. Yes. Yeah, you said yes. it out loud. Say you ain't saying it ahead this time. Say it out loud. That's okay. I slipped. Yeah, you slipped up. Damn. That's the first time I heard that. You could travel you without travel credit. Without credit? It's better with it. It takes longer without it. Just the same like business credit. Like, people can build business credit, but it's you faster money with without personal credit. credit. Too. Yeah, you can. We're going to get to that. Yeah, we got, yeah later, later. Yeah, well, go ahead. Time. Go ahead. <laughs> so you could. It just takes longer. And while you're doing that, to be honest, it... For a person who doesn't have credit, right. you could build the muscle of how you allocate your transactions before you get the before you get the credit card. Because there's different shopping portals, there's different ways you can you can leverage it. There's different partnerships. Like I keep it a buck. You got Delta and Lyft. If you don't Uber, use Lyft. So even if you're using that debit card. You gonna get the miles with Delta anyway. You know what's right. crazy? It popped up on my phone too. When it I did. Said lift to the airport. It did. Said, Delta, you want to connect your Delta flights to this? I'm like, oh. <laughs> connect your Delta. It did for mine too. Uh, uh, yesterday morning. Yeah, it does. exactly. That's that's easy. that's that was you gonna spend that money anyway, and that's my whole point. You're gonna spend the money anyway. Why you spending it? it anyway. Yeah. You spend might as well allocate efficient. it so you get a double dip off of it. You stop letting it just go out on that one way street. Figure out how for it to come back, even if it's little by little. Figure out a way for it to come back. So that now you can reuse it. Mm. So, so, all right. So as far as we're talking about- I gave about, about too much sauce on here already. Yo, I'm done. Hold up, hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up. So we're talking about foundation. We're talking about leveraging, right? That's, that's very important when it comes to just the personal credit aspect, right? What got you into, other than just you understanding about leveraging, what got you into just learning about personal credit? Honestly, and I tell people this, yo, it was, I had three no's. Funny enough, right? She the three. I had three no's that made me finally say yes to myself. Was that one of them? What? Your first, the, the uh, no to yourself? I was, no. I was a no. Oh, you was a no? Okay. I don't think you was around. It's okay, go ahead. Just move on. Get your mess. <laughs> right? So, so I had, I, I, this was 26, 2017, 2018. I was, uh, I'm a middle school math teacher and I also used to work at Nike. Okay. So I had, I had. Two, Jack of all trades. Bro, I was, yo, I'm Jamaican. She really did. That's, yeah, that's, I'm that's Jamaican. Our train. That's our train. I'm Jamaican. Yeah, you're not having, everything. you have two jobs, right? Two jobs. Yeah, if you but have then, less than two, you're lazy. Jobs. You're lazy if you have less than two, right? So I was working at Nike. I was teaching. I was stacking my money on the side. I had like 20 something, 20 some thousand saved up. All right, bet. You know, my father told me land on right. So let me go buy a house. Right. You need money, I got money. I didn't know what I didn't know though. Right, you didn't right? know you needed credit. I didn't know, I didn't know nothing. I didn't God. know how to calculate what they needed for the money. I just thought 20K was a big number. All right, bet. So hold up, so wait, 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 wait. My fault, because if I'm thinking about to the timeline, right? You said this is 2016, 2018? This is like 20, yeah, 2017. My so, time is a little off, a little, because COVID fine, got it's me fine. Fine, but it's just like 2017. So 2008, when you were doing the travel hacking with the airline, I didn't know credit. 
So that so that's even specifically why you say that you can do travel hacking without I credit because you Look, were doing here's it. Here's the crazy part. Here's the crazy part. Y'all got kids? Yeah. Your children are travel hacking off you. They freeloaded. I call that freeloading. No, they travel. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, right, yeah, that's what we call them nowadays, travel hacking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Credit hacking, travel hacking, right. money hacking, it. toys they hacking. Hold up, what else? Um, car hacking, hacking, everything. Just put it all together, bro. Yeah. They, they are, they are literally, they are literally running the play on y'all. Because when you, when you fly with them, <laughs> they, the they are. They, when you fly with them, they should, they all have their own frequent fly number, and you're paying for their flights, bro. and their miles are getting stacked. I don't know why every I, single time. I should have done that for Lily. Should have been doing that. I got friends, yo. His daughter got like a leak status. She got probably higher status than y'all. She'll get upgraded. Um, she'll, uh, she'll get upgraded and walk right, right back, and right we, she went right to the front, and right we right in, the, right in the comfort plus, <laughs> yeah. right. Mm, right okay, she got, okay. Like, she got platinum status. Exactly. She's That's, like 12. So you know you know another key thing um, that you was just speaking about, and that, and that goes into mindset, right? The three no's that, that oh. changed you. Yeah, the three no's. The three so, no's. So, yeah. so I get excited about the traveling. Sorry. So uh, 2017, 2018, I'm looking to buy a house. I got some money saved up. Mm -hmm. I go and I, you know, I find a mortgage lender. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. They run my credit. I got good credit, right? I've been paying my bills on time. I've been, you know, So you not, think, yeah. So I think, right? Mm-hmm. Because that's usually what happens. We all think we that think, we're paying we our credit on time. We think we're but good. But then we have one late payment. We're like, wait, we where think, did this come from? We think we're good. So I go through now and they pull it up. They pull up my Experian and TransUnion. And they were good. Well, for those two, they pre me for $750,000. Mm, right? Got you. I didn't know I had my Experian locked. Honestly, I didn't even fully understand the app. I was playing with the app and locked it on accident. Right. So she couldn't access it. Then she told me on the phone... Your experience is locked. We can't see it. I look back now. I'm like, wait a minute. I didn't even know there was three separate companies. I thought they was a Siamese twin head. I thought they was a Siamese twin head. Is that the time you had Credit Karma and Experience? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, had, uh, I thought there was a, like a Siamese, like a, like a Rushmore, like a Mount Rushmore. They all in the same thing. They not. I did that. I, I unfreeze it. She goes. She looks at it. I had a timeshare foreclosure on my credit profile. I didn't know that. Mm. Wow. I didn't know that. I hate I, them times. I, yo, I paid wow. a lawyer for that. I right. didn't know that. That was on there. I lost $750,000 like that. Wow. Jesus. Because I had access to it. They pre qualified me off of, I gave them everything. pre so The too. only thing that they did not get from me was the Experian profile. They had my W-2s. They had my taxes. They had everything. They had everything. She literally said, all we need to do is see is your experience and you're good to go. She, it it was, stopped you the right pre qual the wasn't even like a pre qual because I was approved for it. Yeah. I was, I was making they good just, money. They just, you just needed that one. I just needed that. She did everything. She said, so, send this. So you got in the club, but you ain't getting VIP. Bro, not even. I, she kicked me she out was, the club. Yeah, she got, she she got, got I was about to say, she, she got kicked, kicked me out, out the club. The club that was the bro. first no. First no. I'm, that was the first no. That was the first, first no. no. Second go, no. Go, second no. I go to, you know what? I don't like no. So where I go? YouTube University. Okay. Go to YouTube University. Oh, damn. I go find I got Clint. an MBA from there. Bro, super. I got a PhD, right? So I go down Clint Coons. Bigger, um, bigger pockets podcast. Yep. Um, the dude from Sp Fox, uh, Fox News. His name's Robert something. He had a channel. Robert I, Sala, is it? Something like that. He yeah. got, he got brown hair. I watched everybody's stuff all day. I wake up. I'm motivated. Going to Detroit. <laughs> Go to Detroit. I find some property. About to buy the whole Detroit. About oh, to buy the whole, the whole, the block. The with the 20. At, at that time, too? The Bruh. show was cheap. No, 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 no. I no. 20, I'm going right to keep it a buck with you. I was pissed about the no. I blew half the 20 because I was at that first. <laughs> I blew half it. I blew. I was mad. I was emotional spending. That's yeah. I know. You know what's crazy? Even if I got it then, I wasn't ready yet because I was an emotional spender. So I blew half the, I blew half the 20. I should, that 20 should have turned to 40 by my savings. Right. But I blew half it. I was an emotional spender and I was mad as hell. I'm, I'm, a, I'm the youngest of five kids. I don't get really told no often. So that no was a, that was a big no. Right. The next one, I go to Detroit. All right, fine. Hook up with this real time. I'm out there for five. I specifically flew out there. Don't know nothing about Detroit. Don't know nothing about real estate really I, either. No, I'm YouTube University. I, <laughs> I go down there. I find two properties, 55,000 each. Added 55,000? Each. Wait, were they already there renovated? They were duplexes. They duplexes. Renovated? Three of them was, three of the units was, uh, was she rented. Say, she ain't say yes to my renovated. Listen, yet. they was rented already. They had tenants, two was section eight. One was regular. One was a long term. One was vacant. So they was, it was 75% occupancy on these two separate houses. I was gonna get them. The mortgage is about each like three hundred and three hundred thirty something dollars, yeah. right? So total is about seven hundred bucks for both mortgages, right? Total. 
come with my money. I was short 5K. I asked my pops. He said yes to giving me the money. And they said, oh, no, nah, you can't use gifted funds for an investment property. Mm. Didn't know that. Went back to him, yo, pops, I need you to sign on this crib. No. Negro was playing with me. That's the second no. <laughs> that was the second, second no. no. Okay. Then after he yeah, said, after yeah, he said no to that, too. guess who told me no next? The lender? the lender? The lender. Because you still ain't get that other I, thing I, off the experience. I, 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 that was, so no, that's the I third need, I didn't need the experience. I needed cash. You need the money. I, oh, didn't, you need ha- the I didn't have access to no more cash. Wow. Was that for the reserves? That was the third no. Or that was just... That was the third no. Was that for the reserves or that was just your down payment? I didn't have access to no more capital she, to get she, them. She's she not even answering the question. I that's hear cool. you. I know. That's what I'm they saying. Needed, they needed the rest of the money. They just said no. I didn't have the rest of it because my dad needed to sign on for them to approve the money. They didn't want the money he was giving me. They wanted the money. They wanted him to co-sign to this $700. Bro, $700? I will make sure out of everything that was taken care of, even if I had or didn't have a tenant. And they didn't even care that the place was already running. I lost that. That's my third no. So, so you took now, three no's. Those three no's, right? And that's when we talk about mindset, right? So a lot of people take those no's, go back to school, go back to work, put their head down and just, right, it is what it is. But you took that and you started really educating yourself and getting to that next level. Yo, what's... The, what's and because up behind every no is what? A what yes. Comes from? A yes. And that yes is the yes that's going to change everything. Yeah, the crazy of part is, you know about this one. I lost out. So I just peeped out. I just told you 750000 110000 mm-hmm. dumb, dumb houses in Detroit went up 150% in value. So they they worth at least like 300000 now. Wow. To get like crazy. Wow. Right? Since since 2018 till now. They went up right. crazy. Right. right? And everybody in Detroit now. Of this course. was back then. Yeah. So that's about a million dollars. You got a down payment assistance program That's now. about a million dollars in real estate I missed out mm. on. Because what I didn't mm. know. That's a million dollars five years ago. Because what I didn't know. And That's I was talking about travel hacking. But it's a million dollars of real estate I didn't know. <laughs> and that was four units. And you know about this deal. I missed out on four units five years ago. I'm a part of 48 units now. Mm, mm. Say, say that again. Say that again. Missed out on four units five, five years, years ago. ago. And what, what now? 48. You know the deal. You're a part of Yeah, yeah. I definitely know. Yeah, you know I, the saw deal. I saw it. I saw it. I saw she the name all over it, too. <laughs> I'm part yeah. of that now. She's a part of 48 units. Not too far from here. Not too far. Sorry. Not too far from here. So she missed out on the opportunity and the bigger one walked through the door. Yes. That's how life works. Yes. That was three no's. That's, but being persistent, that's how life works. Yeah, sometimes so, sometimes you gotta slow down, be patient, right? Exactly. Because even though yes, yeah, she did get those three no's, those three no's, they hurt. I know it they hurt. did. A million dollars. Or, or it felt like it hurt at well, the time. Yeah. That's a million dollars. Well, to her, it did hurt because she spent half the money. I spent. So and, it, I, and, and I had to spend money when I went to Detroit. Exactly. I had so to you, spend money on the money, appraisal, the earnest money, money had to keep the coming. inspection. I had to put down money for that because he was giving me mad concessions to get the price. Like, I wanted the price down so he wasn't paying for stuff. So certain stuff, I had to pay for it. Right. And he was waiting on me too. And then I didn't, I didn't know how to get the capital. Yeah. And that was now, that's not, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, patience, patience is definitely a virtue, as everybody says. But that's that's something that's very important that a lot of people don't take away either, right? Because even like for me, when I started to understand about credit and then after a while and then learning about funding, it still took me patience before because I I had knew about funding, but it took me three years before I can even fund myself. Cause I had to build myself up, build the credit. But it's just patience, 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 patience. Everybody, when you're when you're talking to somebody, when they're talking to you about something, that doesn't mean jump on it right away, right? Do your research, um, execute on what you actually think you want to do, but have patience as well. Diligence, it, it helps. It goes a long way. And don't be scared to take the action, even though you may have failed before. We failing forward. Huh. So failing is part of the process. Yes. Failing is part of the process. You're supposed to fail to succeed. Um, cause if I'm, if I'm 18, 19, 20, right. And it's funny you mentioned YouTube university. Yeah. And I know you, you all over YouTube university nowadays. Right nowadays. So the three. where can I tap in? Cause you already done been through all the steps. You got the wealth full of knowledge. Yes. How can I say, she, I want to walk in your steps. Where can we tap in? What are you out here giving to the people? All hmm. right. So first thing I want to address your first comment. You said if I'm 18, 19, 20 years old, Yes. I have 18. Well, he's 19 now, but I had an 18-year-old nephew, and I have a 21-year-old nephew. And I will tell you the same thing I told them. Start small and build, right? Now, if you can leverage your family early, do it. Mm -hmm. In some situations, some of my family wasn't with it, right? I love them, but they wasn't with it. 
They wasn't trying to do the AU. Add, let's add, let's add all the kids to the. Or let's add your, let's add all the kids to everybody's credit profiles. Build it up and build them up. Mm -hmm. Everybody over okay. ten years old. They wasn't yeah. with it. So with my nephews, I said, all right, they don't want to help. So we are gonna do. You just know why, right? Somebody gonna mess up. <laughs> Somebody gonna mess Somebody up. Gonna mess it up. That's why. <laughs> Go ahead. It's a crazy part though. Some of the cars was like they was valid. They forty years old. Yeah. Them cars ain't going nowhere. Let's let's go ahead and run that. So they wasn't trying to do it. All right, fine. So my nephew, I said, look, get your get your secure card. I added him to one of mine as an mm -hmm. AU. My nephew went from a two hundred dollars secure card to a three thousand dollars unsecured card in mm, less than six amazing. months. Mm. Then he then he went and got a seventy three hundred dollars credit card, right? Seven thousand three hundred. Then he's going to get a CDO. You know what he did next? He asked for the money. I said, don't ask somebody for the money. I said they gonna give you a loan. Take as much money as you can get from them. Gave him the play. Went to SoFi. SoFi gave him a loan. It's like four years, like twenty three or twenty seven thousand dollars, right? Wow. Does he need the twenty seven thousand dollars? No, he does not. Is my nephew? Have I been talking to and him? Wait, how old is he? He's nine. He's eighteen at this time. He's not. The, I also talk to him a lot about money. So the conversation isn't how is it, I, how exactly. can I go blow this bag? Exactly. It's, it's how a can I leverage it? How can I build? Yeah. Auntie, I want to build. All right, yeah. fine. He took the twenty seven thousand. He only needed two thousand for his class. Right. But now he got a twenty seven thousand loan report into his credit profile. So I said, just use their money to pay them back and just blend your payments in. Exactly. See, that's that teacher in her. That's that teacher. Wait, in that her. teacher. That teacher. That's in that her. Teacher. She good. That's that teacher in Told her. Told you seventh grade. Yo, seventh grade. I, when my I don't care what you doing. My daughter gets to that seventh <laughs> grade age. You teaching her? I tell you that. Bring no, no, no. You ain't gonna yeah. even get in touch with her. <laughs> That's how we get that in. She she gonna be no. somewhere in Aruba, going in a island off of Jamaica. <laughs> off of Jamaica, with a yacht. Nah, she she, she the always, airline. I, yo, she I, always pick I up my call. I received that. <laughs> I received that. She would always pick but up my call. In no man, serious, I in no seriousness, though, for real, like so that's where we started at. And mm -hmm. once he um once he's able to do that, I mean, he's at he's always at forty thousand on personal credit before he turned nineteen. That's amazing. Mm. That's and that was just off strategy. Yeah, that's amazing. My other nephew, his highest credit card is $26,000. He's been building for the past three years. Amos gave him twenty six. Oh, uh man. Apple gave him seventeen. I think they just increased him again. Like he gets it, he be like, I say another increase. I'm like, good. You know what to do. He's like, yeah, I gotta keep up a little bit. I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I'm like, yeah. So he's like, all right. He said, like, I got a hundred thousand miles. What I do there? I said, you want to sell it? You want to fly? He said, nah, I'm not flying no time. So I just sell it. The power, the power of leverage. It's a power of leverage. Power of leverage. It's knowledge, and it's, it's really getting around people that know. So for my nephews, they straight. So if you 18, 19, 20, just think about the foundation. Like, don't rush. It'll right. come. My 18, my eight year old nephew will be my 22 year old nephew exactly. with them high limit credit cards. Exactly. But it's not gonna happen overnight. And also, he needed time to mature. I told y'all yes. when I got the 20k, I had the 20k. I blew half of it because I was it. emotional. Yeah, you, you know what? Immature. So it's Easter weekend, right? God don't give you nothing <laughs> that, you, that you can't handle. handle. You can't handle. That you yeah, can't handle. you couldn't handle it at the time. I couldn't. I thought meant. I did. I thought I it wasn't could. meant for you. It wasn't. And if I didn't have, I didn't have a circle I have now. And that's another thing. Nice circle. meeting you. Circle. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that that circle is very important because you know even like even for me, um, and and my my pops they knew my pops knew about credit, but I just he never taught it to me. My mom before she passed, she knew about credit. I was never taught. Even I think like even my my um my mom's brothers and sisters they knew about credit, but I was never taught it. So it's the fact that you're even still you know each one teach one to your nephews. Because now, when they grow up, they can do the same thing to their little cousins, nephews, nieces. Who else gonna and, do it? And it's all exactly. about who's giving you the knowledge, right? Yes. So I didn't really receive it till somebody like me was teaching it. I heard about it, but I didn't receive it till I got it from somebody where I felt like I wanted to listen. Right. So it's all about who's giving you the knowledge. Of course. They could be getting the knowledge. They could be getting the right knowledge, but right. they're not receiving it correctly. Of course. Because when they say when the student is ready, the teacher shall appear. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. But that's what yeah, happens. Yeah, that's, that's strong right there. But that was just answering your first sensei. question. That's a bar yes, sensei. sensei. Mr. Miyagi. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she does. She does been. Yes. Wait, you wait, wait, wait. so <laughs> many plays. She got to give the contact info. Where can they reach you? Yeah, we about to get to that. All right, so go ahead. Where can we reach you? Where can we tap in? Where can we level up and get to <laughs> and get to that Yo, travel? I'm gonna have y'all start putting that level up tracker in the comments because at this point he said where, more where than anything. Where can we get there and start traveling for free? Start really getting the knowledge that a lot of people don't know because you're one of the few people out here that's doing this, right? Especially as a female, especially as a black female. Where can we get 
the knowledge that's happened with you. So look, man, I'm always on Instagram all the time. IG is at Sheeta3, S-H-E-D-A-H-3. I have a check now, so you can't get fooled by the fakes. It's a blue check. Mm. Because that was bad. They yes. were doing yeah, wild, they were, they crazy were wild stuff. Was, I had like 20 Especially fake pages. You, they you they had were, 30. They were, they were wild. Crazy. And they was even trying to say like, oh, you don't trust me. And they was asking for a screenshot of pictures. It was a lot. <laughs> so I got the blue check. She the three. S-H-E-D-A-H-3. I'm on Sir. IG all the time. Um, if you want to if you want to find me, follow me there. I do have a travel course I'm dropping soon. Mm. Hmm. Um, because people keep asking me, hmm. yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay. all right, yeah, I need that. I need that. I said, I'll send y'all a link for that as soon as it's done. We literally recording everything now. I want to make sure people have all the items, and I'm gonna do it. It's literally being built for the good credit people and my bad credit and the people. Bad credit. Listen, if you could travel for less, you would definitely travel more. And if life is about experiences, so how about how you have some more for less? There you go. Oh yeah, there she, she threw it. that in there smooth, but you have know more for less. <laughs> also, she talked about leveraging credit and. In a in, in in a sense, Brandon, if I, if I'm if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, right? You can have a funding company without having credit, right? And you can make money without having credit. Absolutely. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure I threw that in Absolutely. there. You know, the, plan, the whole you know, point we trying to tell y'all for real. Fix you have, your credit. You have no excuse. For there real. you go. Point blank period. You got no excuse, especially in today's world with so much knowledge out there, mm-hmm. with so much people out there giving information out for free. The, the, what she just dropped right here in this episode already, you can execute. Of course. I just gave out what I told my. I just gave out a. I just. I just gave out what I told my nephew to do. Is that what? You gave him the bread. He just. And he executed. That's the difference. Listen, y'all. Some people execute, some people no don't. excuses. Go act on it. Stop playing. <laughs> Appreciate. And that's what it is. Yeah, appreciate y'all. <laughs> you got Sheeta in. three here. Follow yes, on IG the with S H E D A H three three. Follow on IG. Tap in with her. Um, definitely we're going to see y'all soon. This is Brandon the Provider. Tevin Facey, you know what it is, the fun and poppy. And this is the Millionaire Essentials Podcast. Appreciate y'all. Peace.